welcome to this week's episode of Ask Roxy. I'm your host, Roxy Hayes, and I'm off and Fatale. And let's get started. Are you excited about The Jungle Book? Fuck yes, I am. At first, I wasn't because I don't really like live action remakes. I think they're doing too many of them. Fucking Disney. This looks pretty cool. The cast is really what kind of got me excited once I saw Idris Elba was on there. Ugh. That's all, they should have said that first. Who's your favorite wrestler and best wrestling memory or moment? The Rock. The Rock, always. But the best match to me, like my favorite is match, like a match I can just sit there and watch right now, would be the TLC match between the Hardy Boys, the Dudleys, and Edge and Christian. Yeah. Edge just like spearing his ass off the ladder. Yeah, awesome. I don't know, Sterling like looks really feeble and decrepit. Like he looks like he already has like half a toe in the grave. Um, Donald Trump looks nasty as shit, but he still wears front laces, so I guess he still has a little juice left in him. So I'm gonna go with Donald Trump, but honestly, I just wish they would both just beat the shit out of each other and never talk again. That would, then everyone would win. If you could have one scent for the rest of your life, what would that scent be? Now, I don't know if you mean like something I would smell or something I would smell like. Like that's my scent, like this is how I smell. But if it's something that I'm, Smelling, it would be cake. If I could just smell the scent of cake everywhere, I would be so happy. I don't think I would even need to do any more bedtime bitchings because I wouldn't be mad about anything because I would just be smelling cake everywhere. This is better, I hop a Waffle House than neither. If you had the opportunity to embrace one and only one power from either a hero or villain, what would it be and why? Does the force count? I have the force and I could be a Jedi and shit, then I can just like fuck with people's minds. So there's telekinesis right there and I could just do shit. Roxy, how the fuck did Master Splinter learn Kung Fu? Like I get that he taught the turtles, but how the fuck did he figure that out in the first place during his ready life? Okay, so there's two different things that have been presented in the whole Ninja Turtles series. One is that he learned from his master, Hamato Yoshi, He's like, was learning the moves as a rat. He watched him and studied him for years. And then once he mutated, and you know, they become more intelligent, he was able to master those moves. The other theory is that he's Hamato Yoshi himself. And so he knows it and he just became a rat. So it just depends on which one you're going with. I like the set. The second one makes more sense to me. Like, I just can't believe like a rat was just sitting there watching his master all these years, and, but was still okay with just being a fucking rat. Like, at least in Ratatouille, he was a fucking rat, but he ended up becoming a chef. So you knew all this rat shit for years, and you didn't even try to go to some type of dojo and go get your your gi and like earn some belts. You just were content living this ratty ass life. Like, the fuck. And there's a follow-up question. How the hell did Splinter and the Turtles live in NYC for that long in the 90s and they don't wear Tim's? <laughs> I swear everybody in New York wears Tim's. I think Tim's should just be on their, their city flag. It should be like Tim's and a subway rail and then somebody yelling at somebody else. What are you doing for my birthday, which is Monday? Y'all, you just wanted me to tell you happy birthday, Jonathan. Happy birthday to Jonathan. That's what you got for your birthday. Didn't get a chance to wrap it. And that concludes this week's episode of Ask Roxy. Thanks so much to everyone who submitted questions. If I didn't get a chance to answer your questions, I will be doing this again next week. So keep submitting them. And I'll keep answering them. Make sure you subscribe. Share this video with all your beloved friends so that they can ask me questions and get some of this in their life because they need it. Make sure you like the video and comment and let me know if you have any questions. If you have any video requests, let me know. I'm always open for some of the bullshit you guys send me. And have a good night. Ginger Dating is your Darren cheating on Ginger with a cheerleader named Simone. Ginger, it's over.